How are you? We're good. But let's just cut to the chase. How do you do this without losing your goddamn mind? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, it's funny because I feel like a lot of parents where I am a human and I'm going through the highs and lows of life. And I don't think that the secret is to try to pretend that you aren't still doing life while you're doing this. It's to embrace the fact that letting the messy life be part of the education actually helps equip your child to be a a more healthy, productive, functional adult. So we don't, we don't tell lies in our house. We don't, um, pretend that things are Pinterest perfect when they're not. (laughs) And I think that lets everybody breathe a little. And that's kind of where we come back to every day when we're kind of losing it. I love this so much. A long time listeners will likely know that I homeschooled my boys for seven and a half years. And the only way that I survived was by embracing the messy life, the messiness of life, Um, allowing them to learn through living, allowing me to learn through living. Like there's, it was survival for me at that point. How long have you been homeschooling? Since the beginning. So my children, all six have never um, been in traditional school setting. And uh, we moved in, in the beginning and, you know, we've tried different strategies and different methods. And even now, all of them are kind of on different paths according <laughs> to their gifts and abilities. Um, but I have never, you know, had them in a, a public or private school system. I call it school school. That other school where we're trying to put a square peg in a round hole, that other school. And, you know, I love what you said about there are different paths because every kid learns differently. Every kid has different strengths and challenges. And, you know, this is where our school system just struggles and mightily fails is that we are trying to cookie cutter this education for our kids. And if anything comes out of this pandemic and in the academic world, it is that we cannot just take all the seven-year-olds, boys and girls, and educate them the same way. Yes, I have been challenged with it to learn more about my own children. I don't know if they weren't with me and I weren't having to problem solve every day. I would know them as well as I do. So it's Mm. definitely led to stronger bonds so that my, my one child who's out of the house, you know, we continue to talk about very deep topics and we can, we continue to do life together.